here with Sheriff Johnny Emerald. Uh, Johnny, uh, high-ranking uh, unnamed uh, MPW sources have told me that uh, you have a little special announcement to do regarding Mitch Paradise. Uh, what, what is going on? Uh, Mitch Paradise uh, has a little secret. We're turning it into a big secret. Mitch Paradise is the MPW heavyweight champion. He's never acknowledged it while he's been over here. He's never even acknowledged being a part of MPW. That's being a traitor. And tonight, Mitch Paradise, you're going to see what happens to traitors. Presenting MPW just a few weeks at kickoff Carnage's main event. MPW versus ACW King. Hey, the Sheriff is talking. Listen up here. Deputy Fife is in the ring. You know where he got that Mitch Paradise. Fill us in. Mitch Deal Paradise has been keeping a secret from all of you. Mitch Just Paradise has never acknowledged that he's with MPW when in fact he is the MPW heavyweight champion. He's been spotted in biker bars in Wisconsin, and he's probably a Packers fan, too. What? Mitch Paradise is a traitor, and you know what happens to traitors. Put the bad mouth on me up there. Sheriff Johnny's talking. I'm trying to listen to him. He's talking about Mitch Paradise. I don't know what he's trying to get at here. Apparently, he's not happy with Mitch Paradise not representing Minnesota. And his opponent. Weighing in at 289 pounds. Why would you ever call this from Paradise if City? You have to address your complaints, Mitch Doug. Paradise. This is the man you might want to do it to if you're Johnny Emerald. Well, it's four against one right now, and I like Paradise's odds. Six five, 285. 
college professional football. Defensive line background translated into professional wrestling. The future is bright and limitless for this man. We are proud to have him as a representative of All-Star Championship Wrestling. Mitch Paradise is firing the watering hole up, Doug. This is Kickoff Carnage 2001 on ACW Home Video and on television. You the place is packed. You want to see it, you got to see it in person. You be got to be there. Oh, oh here it is. you go. Paradise has her. Mitch Paradise has Alexis. Looks like he wanted a Sheriff piece. Johnny Ambrose from oh, behind. Sheriff Johnny Ambrose comes from behind. This ain't going to be good. This is not looking good for Sheriff Johnny Ambrose. Oh, he's, he's got some out of that one. He has reinforcements on the outside, though. Don't forget that. Where there's one, there's four. Oh! Big boot right to the kisser. You might as well call him. Brigade on that one, Doug. There isn't an army or a reinforcement in the world that's gonna set your draw straight after that one. There goes the bandage. Sheriff Johnny's face gets planted in the turnbuckle. A big hand bone to the side of the head. Mitch Paradise did not appreciate one bit the comments made by Sheriff Johnny Emerald. He's making him pay. Devastating clothesline. Mitch Paradise. I haven't seen him this aggressive in a long time, Doug. Two-handed press. Count of one, count of two. And look at that shift. He grabs Jamie Kennedy by the foot, distracts Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, have you noticed one thing, though? It's always Ow. guys like Davari. It's guys like Sheriff Johnny Emerald. It's always challenging the big dogs. You never see the Stallion do it. You never see Shifty do it. You never see Lynch in the ring with these guys. They always send, you know, if this is correct, turn the bottom feeders up against the big men here at ACW. Davari, they throw Sheriff in there. They're talented athletes, oh. but they can't match up against this sort of power and this sort of size. There it is. That might help, though. Leg drop. Leg drop across the back of the head now. Sheriff Johnny Emerald swooped in on that one like he was descending upon a donut shop. Throwing those boots in. Alexis is a harassing Jason Jerry. It's a sheriff. Time for chops on his... Having no, I repeat, no effect on Mitch Paradise. Sheriff Johnny Emerald doesn't know what's going on behind him. Lynch tries to... Oh, uh-oh. If he tried to turn around, it'd be the worst day of his life, and I think it is. Hard right hand, one after another. He fires a half dozen rights into Sheriff Johnny Emerald and puts him down on the mat. I don't care if it's four on one, five on one, Doug. Mitch Paradise is making his mark. I have not seen him look this good inside an ACW ring in a long time. He is aggressive tonight. Couple of big boots, and Sheriff Johnny Emerald is out on his feet right now. He is motivated, shoots him in. Went for the boot one more time. The Sheriff ducked under. That didn't work one little bit. No chance. That idea just sucked. Fall away slam. And here's the pin. Jamie Kennedy puts it down one, two. Sheriff Johnny Emerald give him some credit. He kicked out. The Sheriff powered out of that one. Let's not sell Johnny Emerald short, Doug. As I've said, a veteran of the squared circle. It's going on a little over 10 years now. Mostly made his mark in Minnesota. And uh, apparently found a fondness for the law enforcement profession there. He wears the badge. He's got the uh, tan and brown on. And he does like the donuts. And he can go with pretty much anyone in the ring, but Mitch Paradise may be way out of his league. One of the things about seeing ACW in person tonight for kickoff carnage, the fans here are going to see it. They will see the cage matches tonight. Will not be on television because of the brutality these fans are about to see. And MPW insisted upon it. Absolutely. You want to see it, you've got to catch us in person. ACW Wrestling. ProWrestling.com on the web. Find and, out where we're going to be. And Doug hopefully remains ACW Pro Wrestling. MPW can lay claim to our promotion and, in fact, our jobs, our television show. Oh, he's got the choke collar on Shifty. Now he picks the right man. Sheriff Johnny Emerald's coming in the ring. MPW may have our jobs. I know they wanted a piece of Mitch Paradise calling him a traitor. Of course... Mitch Paradise, if memory doesn't escape me, Doug, is the current MPW champion, yet being an honorable guy, a stand-up dude, decided not to represent MPW, struck out on his own, and they finally got the Nats, did MPW, to call Mitch Paradise on his decision, and I think Mitch Paradise is making him regret that decision. Sheriff, Sheriff Johnny Emerald is regretting the hell out of it anyway. Sheriff uh, Johnny Emerald getting the worst end of it right now, but Shifty saved another pinning attempt. Whoa. Paradise misses it. There's a schoolboy roll up. Roll him up. Count of one, count of two. That's not quite enough. Mitch Paradise kicks out. Sheriff Johnny need a little more leverage there, Doug. 
Well, he needs to wear Paradise down. Right now, Sheriff Johnny Hamilton has just had his brains kicked out for the last five minutes against Mitch Paradise, and his partners, his little pallies from MPW, have saved his bacon more than once. Look out! Sheriff Johnny Emerald's opportunity, I think, is about to go down the drain, Joke Doug. Slam. Welcome to Paradise. Whoa. Welcome Man. to the canvas. And here comes what MPW. You in. Know what's coming. And here comes the Beast Swarm. The posse rolls in. MPW does some damage. No winner by disqualification. Paradise. Lynch landing those big. Lynch landing those big super rolls, Doug. The stallions in there putting some boots in. Shifty got Jim Kent in the corner. Alexis is in the and Here they come. Here comes Hammers. T.L. Bambino, hardcore luchador. Making the save ACW style. Hammers and Bambino. MPW on the run, Doug. I hope it's that way in just a couple of weeks with that cage match. I hope to God that's the case. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with Sam Haynes. Sam, uh, I know you're you're a big time wrestler in ACW, and uh, I, I must admit you've got that great demonic visage of yours uh, with uh, that nice little th get up you hey, have and all. Hey, what? Oh. What's Cujo? Hey, Cujo. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Well, yeah, have a sip. You know the you know the drill. Yeah, I know the drill. Okay. Per Thank you, uh, Professor. Hey, I'm not. It's quite sure what's wrong with you. I don't, don't think I'm getting what's upstairs here, Mr. Haynes. One day you come out and say you're retired. The next day you come out and say you want to match with me. Well, what is going on here? Yes, what's going on here? I just want to officially announce to everybody that I'm like changing my name from Sam Haynes to Sam Depends. Depends whether he's going to show up or not. <laughs> because after uh, I wrestle Cujo, I'm going to have a full pants load. Oh, takes a pants load there. <laughs> Okay, and just when I thought we had hit rock bottom, we found a new low. MPW snuck their way back in, but ACW has laid down the law. Now it's tag team turmoil. The tag belts are vacant, and the road to the gold takes place December 14th at the Gravel Pit in Keel, and December 15th at the Watering Hole. Join us as over 15 tag teams do all out battle in a Royal Rumble style match. Plus, Kamikaze Ken puts his heavyweight belt up against two time champ Adrian Lynch. That's December 14th at the Gravel Pit in Keel, and December 15th at the Watering Hole for Road to the Gold 2001. Professor Roderick J. McFarquhar here with the demon demonic visage of Sam Hain. Sam, you, last time we saw you, you were injured uh, in the heavyweight title match against Kevin Kruger, a match in which Cujo cost you the belt. And ever since that time, since you've been gone, all Cujo and Stefano have been doing is making fun of you and talking behind your back. What do you have to say to that? You know, all these fun and games, Sam Hain is not part of fun or games. Nothing about me has ever been fun in my life. And tonight, Cujo is going to find all this out. And when I'm finished with him, he's just going to be a small dog back in the pound. Okay, fair enough. Uh, now, you have a little doppelganger running around, uh, somebody by the name of Sam Haynes. It's sort of like there's two of you, sort of like Freaky Friday, except it's not too freaky, and it's Saturday, and there's no Jodie Foster. What, uh, you, what, what do you have to say about that? <laughs> you know, Stefano can run around trying to be me all he wants. I heard him on the radio. I've seen him on TV. After tonight, Stefano is going to be in a double-wide coffin where somebody of his ample proportions can be dealt with properly, and we won't have to worry about Stefano ever again. Well, thank you very much. I, I hate to think of the cost of a double-wide coffin. Somebody is going to get to go to college because of that. Was Big Daddy Loker's behavior planned all along? If you missed Kickoff Carnage live, there's only one way to find out. Kickoff Carnage 2001, the video, features eight big matches, four exclusive to home video, plus dozens of exclusive behind the scenes interviews. This is the only way to see what went down inside the steel cage. Order it online now at acwprowrestling.com. Can it be violent or no? MPW snuck their way back in, but ACW has laid down the law. Now it's tag team turmoil. The tag belts are vacant, and the road to the gold takes place December 14th at the Gravel Pit in Keel, and December 15th at the Watering Hole. 
Join us as over 15 tag teams do all out battle in a Royal Rumble style match. Plus, Kamikaze Ken puts his heavyweight belt up against two time champ Adrian Lynch. That's December 14th at the Gravel Pit in Kiel and December 15th at the Watering Hole for Road to the Gold 2001. Because he hails from the evil lair of nice heads everywhere. Sam Hay will be in tonight. Man, what a night so far. ACW Pro Wrestling. Kick off Carnage 3, Doug. You got to catch it now nah. to see what it's all about. Full house here at the watering hole. You take a look around. They've set up extra bleachers here at the watering hole to deal with the crowd. Kick off Carnage 2000. Not half as bad as your moss wall last night, fatty. He's being verbally abusive, I do believe, Doug. Like that's no, I can't though. figure out for the life of me why Sam Hayne would want yet another match with me. Now, but seeing them come out with Stefano dressed as Ham Hayne, they think they're real funny guys. But you're supposed to be Bruce deal. Lee. They've been calling him out on the razor. They've been calling him out on TV. They've been calling him out. In what I'd like to do before this match takes place is actually come and apologize to Sam Hayne. One, for putting him into retirement, and two, for completely ending any chances of ever getting another shot at a heavyweight title here. If you would, please announce Sam Hayne and get him out here so I can well, give him, I guess, yet one more ass whooping. With or without Stefano. Oh, he's, oh, he's rubbing up Jason Jarrett. Oh. That's not right. Gojo, come on. And his Thank opponent, Father, for Christ's sake. weighing in at 240 pounds, in the hell of from the fiery depths of hell, Sam Hay. Oh, oh my dear Lord in heaven! No! Oh! Here comes the real Hay, and the real Hay is the photo. He would not accept a man with underpants on his head, imitating him for one second longer. And the diabolical Sam oh! is back. Jason the ring rings the bell. It's on, Doug. Stefano, you're a funny guy! Get and those weren't even his underpants! His underpants serve as an additional tarp! Sam, Sam Hayne has had enough! He's been hearing the mockery. He's been hearing the, the crap come out of the mouth of Cujo and Stefano for over a month now. Cujo cost Sam Hain the ACW title in the watering hole not too long ago against Kevin Cruz. Oh, God, look out. Stefano's down. Cujo's down. Setting Sam them up. Hain. Setting them up. The devil is ready. Come, look out. This is, you can see it in his eyes, Doug. Even with that mask on. You see what he's setting up for? Pescado! He takes them both down right in front of us. Lunging at Cujo and Stefano. Sam Hain, the Dark Lord, Mistress Enya on the outside having a big laugh at both the expenses of, well, this man and man and a half. Double noggin knocker, Cujo, perilously close to us. I'm a little uncomfortable when they yeah. get this close. I'm always uncomfortable around Cujo and Hayne. Look out! That Look way. Out. Take it that way. Go to the oh! Oh! Right to the bell! Get the table down! Doug, we expected a fight. We expected a war. This is well beyond what we expect. Oh, my God! Sam Hayne has had enough, and he's taking a pound of flesh out of Cujo! Jason Doreen is doing the smart thing for once. He is letting this one go all across the watering hole on that flatbed trailer. Stefano's nowhere to be found. Stefano's starting to work his way back up into the ring. This is chaos. This is chaos. Sam Hain on the trailer, taking Cujo apart piece by piece right now. Choking him out with the support strap. This is hell on earth for Cujo. 
Sam Hain has had more than enough from these two knuckleheads, and he's taken care of it. He pushes Jason Durant off the trailer. The sadistic, the predatory, the violent Sam Hain has returned to ACW. If you thought just because the fans were cheering him, he'd change, you are badly oh, mistaken over the rail. They're into the crowd. These are two men you need to stand far, far away from. Doug, I can't even keep an eye on them at this one. A lot of a lot of ACW fans here at the watering hole are in the way. They're into the scoring table there that the judges use here at the watering hole. Sam Hain putting the boots on Cujo, drags him up to his feet. Look out, he's gonna send him in. Takes him into the guardrail. He collapsed three guardrails with the force. That's a 250-pound man tossing a 255-pound man, and the results were bet metal and a lot of pain. I think they're finally getting back to the ring. And gotta give Stavato oh. some credit. He's smart enough after he got his butt whacked a couple times by Hain. He has stayed away from the diabolical Sam Hain. They're back in the ring. Angelo Stefano lives to eat again. And look, I've never seen Cujo do this. Cujo begging for mercy. I have never seen Cujo in this state. Oh, God. Right into the puppies. Man, Sam Hain is evil. He's diabolical. He's had enough. And he's throwing those roundhouse kicks in. Right to the throat of Cujo. Jason Noreen. Jason Noreen still staying out of it. This one might be over, Doug. He's setting him up. Injured knee or no injured knee. We saw it before. Sing! No! Stefano held on to Cujo. And Cujo's got his bearings back. Look out, he's one man oh. dog of war! Lunging clothesline off the second rope. Vicious comeback by Cujo. A vicious response to the text of Sam Hain. And if I know Cujo, he's got his anger back. He's got his wildness back. He's got his rabid tendencies back. And he's got chains outside the ring. He's got Stefano outside the ring. Sam Hain has Mistress Enya, hasn't made a move towards Stefano yet, but I can't see how she'd be afraid of a dude who wears underwear on his head. Big clothes. Right. This is kickoff carnage. This is one of the true signature events of ACW. This it's is been this a is great incredible. night so far, and there's only bigger and better stuff to come. You gotta see it in person. Take a look at the website, find out where we're going to be next. Doug, it's never been so aptly put as this. We are the Midwest ass-kicking machine. And if you don't believe us, look inside that ring. There's all the ass-kicking you could ever hope for, and then some. This is the ACW experience. You gotta check it out live. All-Star Championship Wrestling on television. Live events coming to you. We wanna see you there. Big forearms, clubbing forearms to the back. Cujo, oh, Cujo. got his bearings back right now. He's got Sam Hain down in the middle of the ring. That's not thing. a good place to be if you're Sam Hain as Cujo's going to start Stop. taking him apart yeah. using his just brute strength and a strip of viciousness unlike anybody else in ACW. Scooped him up, powered him down. Cujo, whoa, nice headbutt coming off the ropes to the mask of Sam Hain. Not much protection there. He missed the horns, only got a count of two. Man, I'm telling you, this, this place is packed. They've had action in the ring, out in the, out in the stands. Oh. People are loving it here at Kickoff Carnage. And the best is yet to come. We hope for ACW anyway. Had a fighting moment coming very soon. ACW versus an MPW in the cage. There's that Machumba bomb. Excellent. And maybe had a pin of two. Now he realizes it. He backs up. He couldn't follow up on it right away. Only got a count of two. We're at the home, the Green Bay home of ACW. What memories this building holds. Dino Bambino and Sam Hain in a tables match. We've seen Norwood and Bambino up in a rider truck battling at the top. Cujo's been part of it. And kickoff Carnage is part of ACW history, and we're making it again right now as you're watching. For over two years, the watering hole has been part of the ACW legacy. All that weight coming down on that injured knee. That injured knee, remember that, from the match with Kevin Kruger of Sam Hain. For over 24 months, ACW has presented itself at its finest right here in the watering hole all across the Midwest. We are proud to bring you the fine athletes of All-Star Championship Wrestling, the Midwest finest, as a matter of fact, as Cujo, representing ACW, taking it to the diabolical Sam Hain. And you know what, man? It doesn't matter whether it's the watering hole in Green Bay, the community house. Musama Plex! Dougie calls that the Musama Plex! Dedicated to all the fat women that want to get with Cujo. He called a shot, but that Musama Plex couldn't take him away. Sorry. And Stefano is Jesus. He's he's rabid. Stefano is serious right now. 
Sam Hain kicked his tail at the start of the match, and Stefano is real. I've never seen Stefano this intense in ringside. Stefano is dead serious. Stefano is not thinking about food for once. Stefano wants to see Cujo put the hurt on Sam Hain. Although you gotta know, Stefano, with or without the chains around his neck, has got to regret putting those underpants on his head, mocking a vicious athlete, a vengeful athlete like Sam Hain. And Cujo now dominating Sam Hain. He's put him down twice with two pole axes, just big rock and left-handed clotheslines, and he's calling for a third one right now. You gotta give Cujo credit coming back from that vicious assault on the outside of the ring from Sam Hain. Cujo has rebounded in grand fashion. Look out, reversal, DDT! Hain comes up with one, pulls it out of his mask, and DDT slows down Cujo. Sam Hain, effective counter there. Mistress Enya trying to fire up the Predator. Doug, the watering hole is all the way behind Sam Hain. The watering hole is down with the devil. Big right hand in the midsection, down the chopped. Sam Hain varying his attack here. A few right hands whipped him in. Nice clothesline. Oh, God, he almost took his head off of wow. that one. Jason wow. Vereen wanted to tuck and cover. And Jason Vereen doing a good job so far. He is staying out and letting these two big men duke it out themselves. Man on man, toughest dude wins. Uh, I don't know if they can call that an eye rake or not, Doug, but he maladjusted that hood, that mask of Sam Hain. Cujo trying to go up top. Way too slow. Sam Hain's got him. That's 255 pounds a man, trying to go dead, but he oh. takes him down anyway. Oh, that is a lot of weight. Landed on the tailbone of Cujo, and he backs up into the far corner. The mad dog is really comes into the combo kick. My God, just garroted that neck with that left leg. And Sam Hain, is he setting him up? He's setting him up. Cujo's felt this before. At the end of that title match, he felt it, and now he's gonna pay one more time. Set up here very flip slowly. Him gonna flip him over. Cujo trying to resist, but I don't think it's doing him much good. Boy, it's a big man to do that too. Devil lock. He's got Devil lock. There's Stefano. Enya both on the apron. Jason Dean tied up with and Enya. Stefano with the chain. Oh man. Stefano grabbed the medal and did damage to the back of the head of Sam Hain. Cujo crawling on top. Doreen still taking a look at Mr. Enya. Mr. Enya jumps down. There's the pin. Oh man. oh, man, that's not right. A death blow struck by Angelo Stefano. Your winner, Cujo! Cujo! a victory over Sam The dog is All has been said after all we've seen here tonight, no way this will go. I gotta agree with you. These two warriors were in they're both tough guys. They went after it. Of course, the bottle gets involved. And Cujo steals the news. They're going to fight again. No question about it. But will it be for ACW? Next week, we've got tag team action for you. We hope you will return to the face of ACW. It's still And that fire is done talking. Wait a minute. Jump in. Cujo gets his next time. I challenge you him to dog collar. Dog collar. There you go, the challenge has been in. Hayne hasn't had enough of the chain. Hayne embraces the chain. One on one, Cujo and Hayne in the dog collar. We're setting it up. We'll see it soon on All-Star Championship Wrestling.